Hey everyone, it's Q here. Welcome to my channel if you found it. Awesome. Welcome, welcome. Um, I got a hell of a pre-shuffle here, so I'm just going to kind of dive right into it. Um, the Emperor. Tolling away at learning its skill that they're good at. That repetitive motion and honing and becoming mastery of it. That could be ship building I model ships ship in a bottle <laughs> will of fortune uh, this repetitive learning and mastery skill is what's going to get the uh, wheel spinning for the emperor that masculine energy the balanced of all four kings or imbalanced but I see a balanced emperor here because they're working on getting that wheel going going into calmer waters and just bringing stability to their life. Sort of truth. Um, that truth is going to help st uh, stabilize those waters. Mm. The lovers. So we got Gemini, Aries. Mm. And a Six of Cups. Reminiscing about the lovers of the past thinking you might want to apologize and maybe go forward <laughs> as we get the chariot <laughs> cancer uh, that'll lead to your independence and you walk towards your nine cups and with those nine cups you're going to go towards what you have emotion and love for. Big L. <laughs> mm. That's one of those you got everything that you need in front of you. Stop yo-yoing. Go for it. Uh, I want to stop there, but I want to look. <laughs> Get off your butt. Get what you need. Go do. Alright, so that's our pre-shuffle. <clears throat> Picking up on Aries energy a whole lot, so this might be an Aries reading. I'm going to continue going forward. Because that's what I do. Chariot life. <laughs> so uh, let's dive into this reading. We've got the Five of Cups upside down. Walking away from that regret. Turning. Dissolving regret. Via temperance. Yeah, we got our health, ourselves a hell of a reading here, so let's dive into it. Uh, happy birthday, Cancers, everybody. Hopefully you're out enjoying the water, because that's what Cancer wants you to do. Life by cups. <laughs> cups and truth. Cups and truth. Ten cups. <laughs> everybody can be their ten cups. You don't need uh, a lover to get it. <laughs> As it stayed on the bottom. <laughs> uh, I love it. Take notes, page. I like it. So, yeah, go play in the water. Go get some sun. Get some feedback. You're beautiful. Just go be authentically you and those that appreciate that authenticity are those that will approach you. And guess what? Those are the people that you want around you. If you're putting up some kind of fake facade, some illusion, you'll attract what's attracted to that. Now, it if you're just trying to bang it, yeah, well, sure, whatever. But when you're looking and calling for like an actual connection and love and putting out a fake facade, well, how are you supposed to get real if you're being secretive? <laughs> so it takes faith to be real. The moon upside down. Uh, I like that. That's going to be our overall energy here is the moon upside down. Temperance on the bottom of the deck. And we're gonna leap in to this new world with faith. No, being oneself, being reciprocal and not afraid anymore. Afraid of what? Showing emotion and love. It's not weak. 
It's weak to hide it and to be fake. It takes immense courage to be authentically oneself. Mm -hmm. You tell me what's weak. <laughs> uh, let's do the connection here because I like our shuffle. Um, yeah, the connection. Yeah, strength. <laughs> it takes courage, strength, no fear in order to do everything I just said. To live. And this is the overall energy and the light of the truth. Just be authentically yourself. On the surface, a page of cups. <laughs> uh, yeah, one should, one should definitely um, make right. You may it. It may be inappropriate to do what you feel like needs to be made right for the other person, but do what you need to do to make it right. And only you and the divine know what that is. Have faith. Trust. No fear. No fear. When you have no fear, you are you are invincible. And I feel like the collective is waking up to that. And the soul. The chariot. There is victory in my words. They're not mine. The, these words, yeah. There's victory in these words. Take the reins and gain control by letting it go. <laughs> Being authentically yourself. Book ending here. What does the universe want to add to this? Ah, back to the pre-shuffle. That fish coming in once it realizes that it can be authentically itself. Wow, I just... feel like I'm chewing on a B12 vitamin or tastes like. I don't know. Maybe that's important. Hey, someone take their B12. <laughs> Straight up. Uh, uh, yeah, I've just had um, a coffee, a latte. Why would it taste like B12? <laughs> I don't ask anymore. <laughs> Oh, I don't ask anymore. Oh, and we, strength is underneath that. <laughs> and wish fulfillment. Yeah, nice. <clears throat> Random deck read there as the weirdness of B12 <laughs> vitamin slips into my palate. High Priestess. <laughs> uh, well, intuitiveness. So, Take your B12, go get out some in some sun, definitely play in some water, fill that cup, make amends with oneself, and be authentic. Everything's so much easier when there's no lies. Mm -hmm. Again, crossing all of this is temperance. And since this one are top to us, and it's pre-shuffle that I kind of showed you, the Hierophant, Spirit, Divine, with the, um, the feminine side that loves to just pour forth emotion and love, coupled with no fear of nothing, even those that wish to harm, <laughs> because we have our wish fulfilled. I stand with truth and love and the divine. <laughs> and I got no fear. Bring it. <laughs> Bring it. I'll just sit here cozy in this bed up in my tower. <laughs> the um, hermit. With that new perspective, with no fear, life by the cups. Yeah. Scooch this. this. Uh, scooch that to the side and let's get a clarifier on these here and we'll jump out of this reading. Everybody get in that sun there. Let's go do it outside reading, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. Ah, uh, that strength card. Um, I don't stop here on nine wands. 
those burdens building up in our head and that's what summoned forth the strength is to be authentically oneself i like it my strength here <clears throat> um a gemini lovers um someone you look up to is why you've become fearless you have to become fearless in order to get your love interesting wise lovers here you gotta pour love into what's valuable to you hang with those that are like-minded the fearless authentic I expect the Three of Cups to pop out somewhere. I bet if I pulled this card, it'd be it, but we won't find out. Y'all can, though. <laughs> uh, I may or may not look, I don't know. I, that's for y'all. I like it. Um, remember, all this is crossed by the Nine of Wands. That makes sense. I like it. Page of Cups. That making it right. That's how I see this card right now. It's making it right. Making it right about that heartache. Yeah. The sun card on the bottom. And that heartache. That betrayal. <sighs> the tar in our mind. Must get balanced. Temperance. Repeating message. Yeah. By making it right, the sun will come out for you. Emotionally, on the surface, like you, 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 someone will look at you and just see happiness by making this right and coming balanced by being authentic. And it takes a fearless uh, approach, and that'll get you your lover. Chariot and the soul. There is victory in these words. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. That does, it does feel good. Mm, I like it. So, I don't know. Is this an Aries reading? I don't even know anymore. I think this is just general for everybody. Man, those readings are. <laughs> Specifically. Uh, I don't know what this hot mess is. Hot mess? Well, some wants to come out and say there's a passionate new beginning and the way forward. The uh, path is clear for the chariot to ride on to get to one's happiness. Because all that wanted to come out. Yeah. Specifically. Something new is coming. And like I was mentioning, <laughs> as the deck went weird. Okay. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't worry about it. Let's keep going forward. Oh, uh, chariot. Mm. Yeah, what is going on with the deck? Weird. Uh, okay, right side up. Right side up. Got it. Chariot on the bottom. Got it. Knight of Cups. I don't know what happened. I think this is just their weird way of uh, shuffling it. So let's go with it. Those burdens are coming to an end. Tends the completion. Also, co reads up here with this. It was the Nine of Wands before crossing of the energy, and now it's the chariot. It's the escalation and letting go of by being the solution presented here. Being authentically, truly, rawly, honestly yourself. Making it right. Ten Wands. You're going to be urged to do it quickly. It's just like this little nagging in your head. What are you wanting to do quickly? Go express yourself. Make it right. And find your love. Big L. Not little L. Big L. Big L. It's very distinct. Your connection. <laughs> your vibe. Everything is... We're dropping the, the weight and of all the old and we're grabbing what is real and it'll take us a while to find new words for it yeah mm -hmm. made a wrong 
choice. Uh, well, no. Those wrong choices are never wrong. They're tools of learning. And so maybe in her wrong choice, she wrote a song. I don't know. You writing a song, somebody? Write a song. Sing it. Sing it to me. <laughs> God wants to hear it. I love it. <laughs> um, I guess those will be our clarifiers for the high priestess here at the end of our reading. Um, we got King of Swords on the bottom. And self-punishment. What did I tell you? I keep telling everybody, it is the divine's job to punish you. Stop it. <laughs> Welcome to the new world. See, look, there's that self-punishment again. It's the divine's job. See, that was my wish. And it's true. Welcome to the new world. Sun's crossing temperance. Sun, sun, sun. Where else was the sun? Uh, sun, upside down moon. Again, the moon is the overall energy for all this beauty. And I think this became a... It's like... Like Steve is saying, it's like cancer is the host. This is a cancer reading, but it's everybody's reading. Does that make sense? I don't know. Mm, let's grab this guy. Sum it up. Sum up this random reading as I cut the deck and towers on the bottom with the full right underneath it. And death, then I can see ten pentacles there. I like it. Transformation and the world underneath that. Oh, dear Lord. What is this, like two months ago? <laughs> energy was like as the new world was forming and everybody was stepping into it. I like it. Death. The world. And a tower. Uh, many times have I rolled through the shuffle? <laughs> I don't know. That's just funny. So let's get him. Let's get another because it was literally the pre-shuffle. Uh, coming in quickly. We got a cup of uh, life, love, realness. Yeah, I like it. There's our three cards. The Empress. Uh, no, here, it was this card first, actually. The regret of feeling like the Empress is getting away is making one become independent and transform in this new world from the tower of feeling like you've lost your empress. Your empress. <laughs> Why? Because you were fake. But the empress saw the authentic. But surrounded in your facade fake illusion energy it repels what you actually want that wish fulfilled <laughs> so have faith for sure love is the way trust in that all fear is an illusion all fear is an illusion little cheek little cheek solid. And you can have faith in that. Or I won't force my will on you. <laughs> the two kings will learn Pisces, Leo. Why? Because, well, you can't get the truth out of your head anymore. Truth about what? 
Ah, oh, the heartache. The illusions. Wow. The way forward is that stability of being authentic and having faith that it's safe to do so. Why? Because love, bigger, truth, both mingled together in this cool double helix awesomeness. See that new perspective. I like it. Cards are good. <clears throat> How do you get the cobra to lower its hood so it can drive off? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love tarot. <laughs> like straight up. See? Try. <laughs> Took just a shuffle to put that little bit of love right there beside you. <laughs> um, all right, I like it. Got the emperor here. Let's uh, throw out three cards and just be done with it. Stay out of your head. What you looking at? What you worrying about? Hmm? Hmm? What's it going to be like? I don't know. What's that? Oh. I don't know. Gotta look at all the things. You can't calculate it all if you're thinking. I'll tell you that. As a person that used to value thinking above all. <laughs> and then I got cheat codes. Wait, you can get, uh, you can shortcut? If you stop thinking, the answer just spontaneously arises? <gasps> <laughs> everything i just said balance to that that's your answer that's the truth there like can't go out oh look across the net is the emperor there's a cool lesson for you also it could still be an aries reading started and wanted to do that because of the emperor and there starts key all right, everybody, um, this has just been a random, I have no idea. Here's a beautiful reading for you. Take what resonates, toss the rest, um, and yeah, just be authentically you. It seems so duh, but man, is it hard to do. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, I don't, yeah, I won't point it out. Maybe no one will notice <laughs> anyway. Um, Y'all find yourselves in a dark space. Know that Q's got you.